to the channel. Today is the day that I unboxed the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. But it ain't the day that I unboxed it. Because I did the unboxing already and I lost the footage. So we're going to recreate that the best we can. I threw the box away already. Uh, it's probably been about four days since I shot the unboxing. Uh, but I think we can handle it anyway. I'm going to go through and show you what comes in the box and how to assemble it. And then we're going to get busy and testing this thing out. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can tell you that. Uh, I filmed five, six, seven clips. I thought I saved it as a video file. Apparently I didn't. And they were on the, um, you know, the, the cards, and I formatted them, and now I got to start over. But we're going to try to make it just as just as good. Here we go. Okay, guys, right out of the box, you're going to pull the frame. The whole this is the frame. It's already pretty much all put together. Uh, you're going to pull this out. You're going to get uh, some guides, instructions set up. You're going to get some sample material. Unfortunately, that was all I received. I didn't receive any stainless steel. And you're going to get the manual. And this is the burn plate that you put down. You should have a honeycomb over top of that. I did not receive one of them, but I did purchase one uh, recently that I will use. So you're going to get these. There was also some stickers that you can have. And then you're going to have an air assist pump. Okay, it's ready to go. All you got to do is plug it in. So we're going to set this off to the side here. And it has one plug. And this, let me come around. This comes over. You get you dialed in there. There's a plug right here. And you just line up the tab. Let me get it right and push it in now this is how you can also control your air assist uh, high and low it has a dial there now there is a hose that you will connect to the air assist as well where did it go okay this goes to the module here it is <laughs> it it ran away very simple there's a little plug you pull off of there and you simply plug in the hose and then we can put that out of the way now that is ready to go the next thing you're going to unpackage uh, is the laser head itself as you can see it has a slot here and a slot, uh, and a slot there and you simply just slide it down there's two thumb screws right here. You tighten those. Now, you simply take your air assist. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Here's your plug. And it'll plug in right here. And you'll hear it snap. Okay. Okay, we will now hook up the air assist hose. It goes right here. Simply press it on. And we are pretty much ready to go. All right, before you assemble them, you, they, they provide you with some legs. There is a, there are three separate holes. You can put them all the way out. You can put them toward the center or up front. And I've got mine, you know, because of the size of the table, I've got mine in the middle. Uh, here's a better look. And then you want to check your belts. Make sure that they got good tension. There's also one under here and one on this side. And these are all good. And it comes with some safety features. First one is it has a key to turn it on or off to lock any unauthorized people from using it. I thought I lost the key, but I see it's in their little toolkit they send you. And you can see there is the key for it I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there also has a USB uh, adapter it comes with this one with a uh, TIFF card because you can print from the TIFF card or SD card right onto the machine also comes with a little brush probably to wipe the lens 
uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing turned on. Let me show you some of the features. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. There's a switch right here. Uh, you have the power cord right there. This is where you're going to plug in your laptop with light burn to run it from. And you can put your SD card there. So all you do, simply turn it on. You're going to hear the air assist come on. It will run for a while. And then it will shut off and uh, go into delay. So as you can see right here, you have an indicator that tells you the amount your air is on. If there is a flame or a fire, this will light up red. And this will light up red if your lens is dirty. If they're all green, you're good to go. Now some projects you may not run air. But if you do, you can tell if it's on. You can also, as I say, adjust it over here. Increase it, decrease it. As you can see, it's went into uh, you know, pause mode. And as soon as we start a project, uh, then it, it'll light up. Now. All right, it also features an emergency stop button. At any point during the operation, you have a problem, you just push in the stop button. Then to release it, you just twist and you're ready to go again. You could have a fire, uh, something could malfunction, you're not sure, you just stop it. What they provided me with is this metal plate here and it goes between the table, whatever you're using for a table, and the printer and the laser engraver and then you're going to put a honeycomb on top. Now I guess you could just do it right on there. I did not want to do that so I ordered one. Uh, I believe the basic kit when you buy this does not come with them with one they are optional uh, and that's what they sent me and uh, but I did did order one so I'm going to get those placed on all right one of the first things I'm going to do uh, I'm going to test with you know I didn't get very many samples and it's raining today so I don't want to go get no wet lumber so I have plenty of cardboard so I've laid a piece of cardboard down there now it does as you can see it doesn't sit well so what I've got is a magnet, got a couple magnets, so we're going to put those on there. Now it's down firm. And I have a program pulled up here, uh, it's just a, a JPEG of Libby in my light burn. So I've got it placed there, now I'm going to go ahead and click frame. That's going to move my laser. And you can see it's going off the paper. And you can adjust this by hand, or if you choose to, you can move it by the arrows. Just gotta keep clicking it. It's easier just to move it. Now let's hit frame again. Sometimes it takes a bit. And I, I've never touched one of these before in my life, so this is all new to me. Okay, it looks good, but it needs to come forward. You want the laser right on top of that. All right, let's try it. Now we'll hit frame again. And it's going to go through the motions where it plans to print. Now another thing you can do, I'm going to make this smaller because I've already printed this before in test. So let's just make it smaller and then I'll hit frame again. There we go. All right. Now, you got to check out your burn speeds, uh, your power, and your in your speeds. This will go up to twenty-five thousand per uh, per minute. That's pretty fast. But on cardboard, you're not going to want to go too hot on the power. And I've got this set at fifty percent power. I'm going to boost that down to probably. 35 percent i think the speed is fine and we're going to just go ahead now before you print anything you want to preview it that's telling you what it's going to look like i think i'm going to even knock down the power a little more and you can adjust this while it's running i did that on the last thing that i tried all right let's go 35 or 30 percent power and 65 and let's preview that okay that looks like it'll be okay now keep in mind this is just cardboard so and if you want to see 
what's involved with the printing process. You just hit, let me get it up here, you hit play, and it simulates what all is going to happen. Okay, click OK, and let's get this dude printing. All right, before we run any job, we want to take the gauge that they provide you. And it says right there, engrave in cutting thickness, okay, of basswood. Now, we're using cardboard, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do with what they bring. And you just take your thumb screws, loosen them, and you bring this down to the gauge, tighten them back up, and that's it. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. As you can see, it's uh, it's a bit light, but again, this is cardboard, so you're not going to get the details. Uh, you know, I, I'd have to dial this in a little better. Now, I did print a few more. And this is the last one. Now, this one is much darker and you can see it actually kind of you can feel the texture that it's kind of burnt into the cardboard and here's another one I kind of like the lightness of this here's another one I did now this laser is capable this is Libby's headstone that I've yet to put out but this is what made this I did not make this but this machine will do the exact same thing as this so yes, you could use this uh, as a business. Sell these on eBay, sell them on where, whatever, your website. Uh, there's a big market for these. And as you can see, it's capable. This is the very same photo. Uh, it's capable of doing the same thing. I just don't have any of this laying around as I do not stainless steel. All right, so I've got a stainless steel spatula. Uh, about approximately where I want to engrave it now I come over here to light burn and with the uh, I've got the SD card that they provide in my computer here and I have light burn open and what they recommend they give you parameters and it gives you a good starting point of where to go now I'm going to brush stainless steel uh, thickness that's about right two millimeters uh, recommends the power at 80 and the speed at 6,000 and then you have to look and see how many passes okay so it'll do it in one pass so as you can see here in light burn I've got it set up for speed of 60 power of 80 one pass and I've got burger master is what I'm gonna print we're gonna hit preview and I'm gonna fill that in so that is gonna be engraved and we'll go ahead and we'll hit play going to show me what what's going to go down okay and you can speed that process up by just dragging it so that so now all we got left to do is frame it so let me get this framed and we'll get the printing all right we got it framed let's go ahead and hit start
take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Of course, it's not centered. Uh, it's, this is just for demonstration purposes, but yeah, you can't even feel that. You know, it just did a light engraving, but it's there forever. Burger Master, if I wasn't already, I am now. Pretty cool. So there's our stainless steel test. Now, as I said, I am new to this, so, you know, we're going to get better as time goes on. Okay, a few things you may want to do. Uh, they recommend, they give you all the, uh, the test samples. And what those are, is I've done one here. Um, this is like, ooh, probably six millimeter. Uh, it's the same stuff that I built the uh, rooster uh, roost out of. This will tell you speed, and this will tell you the power. Now, you can look at this and say, well, okay, I want it this dark. Well, you simply look at the speed, and then you look at the power. That's where you know you want to set up your things. Now, I did this on my scrap pieces, and then I also kind of did a little test here. Uh, this is also with what they provide you. I have yet to do a cutting test, so we're going to do that in a few minutes. And here's a few samples of, like, my logo for my channel. As you can see, I've been playing around with it. Uh, this kind of material is kind of strange, and I'll show you why. You can see there's, like, fibers down in it. Now, this actually cut in there pretty deep, and I kind of like that. Uh, it's kind of like a tag, but I did not cut it out. I'm still learning this as a beginner. Uh, this is something else they also provide you with. You can see the settings were a little bit too high as we got some of that. Uh, once I learn how to dial these in better, it'll come out much better. So let's get set up for a test cut, and we're going to use one of their samples. All right, guys, we're going to do a cut test now. I was going to say that the red light came on that said my lens was dirty. So I picked it up. I have got a uh, Q-tip with a little 70% uh, alcohol, rubbed it, put it back down, nothing. The light was still flashing. After you clean the lens, you have to hit the reset button, which is right there. So now I know. All right, we're ready to start this cut job. Let's see how it does. I have not yet done one. Let me get my glasses on. We'll just go ahead and watch this live. As you can see, there's a tad a bit of smoke. That's why I have it in my screen patio. And I got a fan right above me. So eventually these will be vented to the outside. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job.
let's see what we got. Okay, looks like it did. A, I had the speed a little higher than they recommended. And as you can see, if I would have probably, these will fall out. There we go. That is cool. Like I said, I, I kind of tweaked the speed a little bit. But nonetheless, that is cool. Let me get these last ones, but you get the point. I could take these glasses off. So all these are cut. I don't know if that was supposed to come out, but it looks cool. Yeah, I believe it was. And like these down here should come out. And they are cut. Just take a little punching them out. So there, as you see, it, it cuts in quite good detail. All right, there it is. I was able to just easily punch. They're so small, they're, they're probably not going to fall out by themselves. But look at the detail. I mean, right here on the top of the wing, how nice that is. I mean, that's pretty cool. You could do all kinds of things with this laser. All right. All right, guys, that's just a few of the things the Creality Falcon 2 can do. 22-watt laser. It's a diode laser. It has multiple laser, laser, I believe, four that go into one. So it gives you a lot more power than, say, like the 10-watt laser. Um, pretty much enough power to get about anything engraved or cut that you want. Now, we got one more test to do. We want to see this cut through uh, a 15-millimeter board. So I'm going to get that set up. And then I guess we'll be done with this. All right, I'm going to do it in three passes at 100% power. That's about the lowest speed I can do. And again, I'm cutting like a perfect circle in that. That is an older uh, board, so it's hard. Not even close. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right, guys. I was unsuccessful cutting the 1x4 board, uh, putting a hole through it. I did three passes. It would probably take many more. Or, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. That's probably the case. I know I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. But in a few weeks... I'm going to do another video and you will see that I've progressed and learned much more and that will be coming soon. Uh, I think it's an amazing machine. Uh, the ideas that the things you can produce are, are unlimited. Uh, it engraves on just about anything. So we're going to get this thing tuned in. I've been watching a lot of videos, uh, especially with the light burn program. That is something to learn. There's libraries out there that you can get images. You can build boxes with these. It, it, uh, it, it, there are just so many cool things you can build and sell. So it, it is also a business as well. Once you learn what you're doing, if you enjoy it, hey, make a little extra money. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next chapter.